you're doing well. We've reached the second peak in our three peaks challenge. You may recognize where we are, and that's because we've been here before. One of my very first videos was a map video of the Lake District. And we included this peak in that video. A peak in particular is Scaffold Pike. So some parts of this video might feel very familiar, but there are some new things in here, bits of information, groups, that I think you'll enjoy. We are currently in the lake. district. National Park. It is a truly beautiful area and somewhere very special to me. I've had many family gatherings here. Not on the bike, obviously. <laughs> but in this region. And I do love coming here. This particular pike is actually part of the southern fells. We'll get to all the terminology in a minute. It was believed to derive from the name from Scali Fion, which is Old Norse. That means fell with a bald summit. And the first recordings of using this name, or something like it, come from as early as 1578. It was originally spelled Skull fell. That's S C A W F E L L to reflect local pronunciation, but all the guidebooks of the region just stuck with scuff. The mountain is 978 meters high and part of a trio of summits. The other two are called Ill Crag and Broad Crag. What's great is 
on a clear day. You can spot both Windermere to the lake and Derwent water from the top. If you remember my last video, we went there. We have a couple routes today. Firstly, we are going to Wasdale Head. Then Seathwaite. Followed by a very short route called Hollow Stones. As I said before, this is part of the Three Peaks Challenge. We're currently in England. And we've already been to Wales. And the next part of our challenge takes us to Scotland. If you want more of these videos, or you like these videos, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. I want to try and put these out on specific days, just for you. So I hope you enjoy that. I think we can go ahead and get started. What do you say? You can tell it looks a little bit different than our trip to Wales. The road is definitely a lot smaller. The surface area of places to start is definitely a lot different. Here is Wasdale Head. And this is the peak of Scaffold Pike. We have mentioned before, in a previous video, that Wasdale Head is a meeting point, a very popular starting place for the trek up to the top of Scaffold Pike, but also for climbers of the area who want to try some of the boulders or crags along the route. So at Wasdale Head, we head this way. You can see we've been here before. <laughs> we head up this way and you are reaching a pretty nice incline by the time that you get to Stye Head. Now from Stye Head, it's also known as a corridor route which is an interconnecting high-level shelf. So as we come up to Stai Head, the route from Stai Head is also known as a corridor route. That means it's part of an interconnecting high-level shelf. And what's great about this, this route is it puts you below Scaffold's Summit Dome, which you can see here, of at Lingwell Cult. Just in this area here. And you can experience more diverse mountain architecture. 
it's been described at the main ridge here is a roller coaster of rocky summits and narrow calls surrounded by towering crags and indented gills. Now you might be wondering, what did she just say? There is a lot of terminology that comes with hiking in this region. So I thought I'd share with you what some of those words mean. wondering what on earth is she talking about? None of this really makes any sense. And you know what? I understand. It's true. A lot of the words I just used don't really make much sense if you don't know what they mean. So that I'd quickly tell you about all the terminology. So firstly, you have a bike, as in scaffold bike. A bike is a hill with a peaked top. So if you go to scaffold, there will be a peak there, and it's quite visible. Then you have a gill, spelled G-I-L-L -L or G-H-Y-L-L -L. That's a ravine or a narrow valley. You've also got a col, which is the lowest point on a mountain ridge between two peaks. You've also got a col which is the lowest point on a mountain ridge between two peaks. You can find quite a few of those in between a few of these if you see them. Well, now that we've the terminology. I hope maybe that makes things a, a little bit clearer for you. Let's see if we can get onto another route then. So I thought we'd move on to another one called Hollow Stones. This route is actually one of the more direct routes to the top. And it starts here, at Bracken Close. And you move up the hill this way. Now, what's interesting is you've got two routes going this way, but what I want us to take is this one, and then sharply turning right and zigzagging our way to the peak. This route you may get quite a bit of a strong incline on, but I think it's probably the best route out of all of them. You have fewer people on the route, because Westdale Head is very popular, so a lot of people will start from there. And you'll just move up to Scaffold Pike quite easily. But you may be able to see that there are a lot of these pink 
lines everywhere. Those are the roots that we can take. And there are quite a few to the top. You can see I've maybe made a few notes here and there. But if I were to zoom out, Just a little bit. We can maybe see where some of these roots begin. So if we were to go between the peaks, for example, you've got Bowfell and Rosset Pike and Allen Cracks. There are roots connecting those particular ridges. We've even got things like waterfalls. So you can follow the crags. Excuse me, follow the gills, actually. And the bodies of water that feed them. Up and down. The fells. There's even castles. <laughs> Kirk Fell is another really amazing... Uh, summit and it overlooks the hamlet of Wasdale Head I would love to go for a swim in one of these lakes but You may be rem remember from my last video, there's something called sprinkling tarn. I don't know if I said it like that or not, if I called it something else, mispronounced it. you the next route at Seathwaite. I think you'll really like it. We've made it to Seathwaite. Did you know that this town was once only accessible by a single dirt track in the last hundred years or so it has become a popular starting point for a lot of walkers to Scuffle Pike, which is where we're going today but other summits like Great Gable and Glaramara This route is going to be a lot longer today I think you'll enjoy Sometimes those longer treks are a little bit more rewarding So we start in Seathwaite, which I found out is the wettest inhabited place in the UK. So it is the most wet. <laughs> and it gets approximately 140 inches of rain every year. Which is unbelievable. That is, that is a lot. So at Seathwaite we follow this 
little pink line coming down. We're following one of the gilt screens. Gilt. We come down this way and we make a sharp right turn around Seathwaite Fell. We come this way. There are a few tarns that we reach. So these little bodies of water. And what we'll do, I think, is eventually meet up with this route here, just before Sty Head, and then join up with the route from Wasdale Head, and follow it into the corner. So once we've reached the route that normally you would take from Wasdale Head, we come round and join up at Stye Head and follow that corridor all the way to the top. As you can see, there are a multitude of routes that you can take. I do enjoy a lot of them. And I'm hoping that at some point very soon I'll be able to actually get to do one of these routes. Because I've never been to Scuttle Break. say it's been so brilliant revisiting this beautiful part of England. I'm just so glad that we could do it together. I look forward to heading further up north next time to tackle our last peak of the challenge. That's been Nevis. I'm excited to see you there. Thank you for joining me. Bye, y'all.